Elon Musk said today on Twitter that they are so confident with how version 9 of the full self-driving beta is behaving that they are willing to start removing radar sensors from their vehicles. Now, this does not mean they are taking them out of the manufacturing line right now, right this second. In fact, I probably expect Tesla to hopefully make a bit more of a formal announcement when they do so that people can be aware, hey, if you want radar in your car as a backup or as a failsafe, then better buy a Tesla at this point or not buy a Tesla after this point, but it's certainly been concerning for a lot of different people out there, and myself included, because I'm no software engineer, but I have to imagine that humans, as drivers ourselves, have neural nets that behave in bad weather and edge cases that are very, very difficult and able to navigate, okay, exactly, how do I drive, where do I drive, and the fact that a car can have a radar sensor as a backup, which it's not a very high-resolution amount of data that's telling the car if there's an object in front of you, but it's it is something that is oftentimes able to look through bad weather and look through places with bad visibility and detect objects long before you run into them. So there's a huge amount of concern for safety on Twitter right now just because of how many people are seeing this response and saying, oh wow, so the end goal is actually to remove radar as version 9 of the full self-driving beta, which hopefully should roll out sometime this month. We're still on Elon time here, so you know, don't be surprised if it ends up getting pushed back another couple months but it at least seems that they are very confident in the software getting better and more reliable to the point that they're gonna let anybody opt in for the full self-driving beta once that button does become available. And once people install this beta and start using it, the radar sensor is gonna be completely redundant and unnecessary just because of how good, I guess, the cameras are at analyzing their surroundings. So on one hand, I'm happy to hear that Elon Musk feels very confident on this subject. I mean, how many times in the past have we seen Elon be a little too confident with his full self-driving capabilities. But still, it's good to hear that the camera-based software is going to be so good that they don't even think radar matters anymore. While at the same time, hearing Elon publicly now tell people that, yeah, it's so good we're not going to need radar anymore, it does make me wonder, are you testing the full self-driving beta with version 9 and getting good results on California streets in nice weather? Or are you thinking about how radar might be very, very helpful in situations like snow or places where it rains really, really hard or has real, real dense fog and they're simply just not really seeing a lot of those edge cases yet because at least the way I see it right now a lot of the people who have the full self driving beta are in California and in places with really really nice weather and occasionally you have some people like dirty Tesla that drive it around in the snow but as the weather's getting warmer and version 9 is going to be rolling out primarily in the US there's going to be a lot less situations with bad visibility where the beta is being tested so I'm hoping that the Tesla full self driving team is not looking at too small of a a closed box scenario and realizing that, oh, well, in these situations where we're doing the beta test, radar doesn't seem very helpful, but could there be situations down the road where visibility is limited and it's raining really hard or it's snowing really hard, and because of that, radar as a backup could add that extra level of safety that people appreciate. And I've heard Elon say many times that safety is the number one priority at Tesla, and knowing how great the crash test ratings are on their vehicles and how safe they've been able to keep their battery packs in flooding and preventing them from catching on fire to the best of their ability and how rare fires are actually in electric vehicles despite what mass media wants to tell you. I believe that they do care about safety, but I just have to wonder if falling back completely on computer vision has any significant benefits that we're just not aware of. I mean, I've seen some people speculating that when you start combining more different inputs to the software between vision and radar, they start to contradict each other. And because radar doesn't have that high resolution, of a data map in front of you. It's unable to completely agree with the computer-based vision. And perhaps if you start ignoring radar and you ditch it entirely, then maybe the computer-based vision can have a bit more confidence and it's able to accurately tell its surroundings pretty well. And even in situations where visibility isn't that great, the cameras will be capable of taking the right actions and making the right call in those tough situations. So again, I'm no expert, I'm no massive software engineer, but I have to wonder if removing radar might result in the full self-driving beta perhaps performing a bit better because there's less data for it to process and less things for it overall to worry about and it can just focus on computer-based vision? Or is this just another desperate attempt for Tesla to find ways of reducing manufacturing complexity and trying to reduce the 
the overall cost of the car, which I get, but overall, I think it's safe to say the radar sensor is likely, in the grand scheme of things, not terribly expensive, and the amount of power it consumes on Tesla's battery is likely very, very small, probably less than 1%, so I don't think that removing the radar sensor is instantly going to allow you to have much better range. And at the end of the day, I, I somewhat get it, you know, there's no part that's small enough that we should just keep it around for the sake of why remove it. I do like that Tesla pushes these boundaries and they like to experiment with what do we really, really need in a car. I just wish we could see some of those price benefits actually being realized as, hate to bring this up, but yeah, just last night the Model 3 and Model Y went up another $500 for the standard range option and long range option, and then both the performance versions of the 3 and Y went up another $1,000. So I hate to say I told you so, but my guess is Tesla is slowly increasing the prices as they have a feeling that the EV tax credits are going to come back and they want to adjust their pricing accordingly so that they can still claim, well, it's cheaper than it was before, but ultimately they're not demand constrained, they're supply constrained. So they would much rather just have a lower amount of demand, but higher profitability than they would just have an excess of demand and they can't keep up with orders. And part of me wonders, because Tesla doesn't have a PR department, will we ever know which Teslas officially ditch radar? Will it become very obvious or will we have to tear these things open to truly find out if they removed them or not? I don't really know, but I'm very, very curious to see how version 9 performs. I can't wait for this full self-driving beta button to finally be available. I just hate having to constantly adjust based on Elon time. When is this officially going to happen? What is it not happening? Timelines. They're not Tesla's strong suit, but I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about removing radar and perhaps we're all just too close-minded to assume that we can't have a safe vehicle or enough redundancy with just computer-based vision. But at the end of the day, I still do agree with Tesla on if you're able to solve full self-driving, which is a computer vision-based problem, ultimately it all comes down to not how well you can map your surroundings, but understanding your surroundings. Not just where things are, but what they are and where to go. Then yes, once you've truly cracked that code, things like LiDAR or radar will probably start to become redundant. I just hope Tesla doesn't start removing these things way before they're considered redundant and is just trying to push the boundaries of how simple they can make manufacturing and how dependent on cameras the full self-driving beta software can be. Anyway, feel free to let me know. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.